Okay, good afternoon. So today we're looking at um, page 4 of the geometry workbook. Okay, the question says calculate the value of the unknown angles indicated by the small letters. So as you can see here, we know that all these angles here are angles around a point and they add up to 360 degrees, the revolution. So we're going to say x plus 155 plus 75 plus 47 equals 180. Why? So it's a revolution. Or angles around a point. So x is equal to 180 minus 155 minus 75 minus 47. So that works out to be negative 22. No, not 180, but 360. My mistake there. Be 360 degrees, which is 158 degrees. Okay. Next one, uh, B. We can see that 200 plus x plus x plus 78 adds up to 360. It's a revolution. Let's do that quickly. So you're going to have 200 plus x plus x plus 78 equals. Uh, 360. Okay, and the reason there is revolution. So we've got x plus x is going to give us 2x. is equal to 360 minus 200 minus 78. So it's 360 minus 200 minus 78. Gives us 82. Okay. So to get x on its own, I divide by 2, so x is equal to 41 degrees. Okay. That's will be. Let's look at C. <coughs> In C, there's two unknowns here. So we can't go and say x plus 90 plus 45 plus 2. We can't do that because we will have two unknowns in one equation. So what we do is we need to first solve for A. But we know that A is the same as this angle, 75, 45. It's vertically opposite. So A is 45 degrees. It's vertically opposite. So I fill in 45 there. Now I can go angles around the point. So now we say 90 plus 45 plus 2x plus x plus 45 plus x equals 360 degrees. Why? It's a revolution. Okay? Revolution there. So x plus... 45 plus 40, that's going to give you 180. To get over, becomes 360 minus 180. 2x plus x is 3x plus x is 4x. So we have 4x is equal to 180 degrees. Divided by 4 both sides. So x is equal to 45 degrees. Okay? Let's look at D. In D... We can see as in angles in a straight line, so that will add up to 180. We have vertically opposite D, so Z is also equal to 4Y. He is also vertically opposite. X will be 40 degrees, vertically opposite. Then we can go with angles in a straight line and then angles in a straight line again. Okay? So we start off by saying <coughs> X is equal to 40 degrees, vertically opposite. Okay. Then we see the 3y plus y plus 40 equals 180 because it's a straight line. So you got 4y is equal to 180 minus 40 is 140. Divided by divided uh, both sides by 4. So it's going to give you 7. It's going to give you 35 degrees there. Okay. Let's look at E. Oh, yes, and Z. Let's sort this Z out for you. And come inside. Z is going to be equal to 4Y. So it's vertically opposite. So it's going to be 4 times 35. So it's 70 is 140 degrees. Okay. The last one, E. Put E here. 
in E, we can say that this is angles in a straight line. So 80 plus Y equals 180, straight line. So Y is equal to 100 degrees, okay? So then this here would also be 180 degrees, angles in a straight line. So X plus X plus 80 equals 180, straight line. 2x is equal to 100 degrees. So divided by 2 is going to give you 50 degrees per piece. Okay.